battle for the lead here at Redbud. Trey Kennard on the red 41. Ken Roxon on the orange number 94 are battling for the number one spot. Everything Roxon has done to try to get the pass. Kennard has ridden very smart. He puts the motorcycle in front of him in third and fourth. Eli Tomac, Ryan Dudger also right there. Oh. There's Roxon, another pass attempt and another denial from Kennard. Look at this. This is Kenny's favorite spot. Tries to run up the inside. Kennard just sweeps around the outside, carrying that momentum. But look at this. They were close earlier to the outside. They're going to scrub this together. That's when they throw the bike sideways. Trying to stay low. Yep. Yeah, the more airtime you get, you want those wheels back on the ground so you can accelerate. So they try to cut the airtime out of it. And watch the third place rider, Eli Tomac, on the Geico Honda, is right in this fight. This is shaping up to be quite incredible. And Ryan Dungey lurking right there in the fourth place. So arguably our top four riders in the series at the moment. The top four fastest guys are running one, two, three, and four as they all jump LaRocco's leap. Four stories of elevation from the bottom to the top, but the takeoff is so long, it's like a gigantic launch ramp. So a lot of air time for these guys. Well, you can explain to the people at home, when you're at the bottom of that jump, you can't see the landing. You have to just guesstimate it it's how scary. far you're gonna go. It's scary, trust me. <laughs> I don't care who you are, it's intimidating. And the problem is, when one guy does it, you have to do it. If you wanna be competitive, you have to do it. But once you get it down, it's pretty cool. But these guys now doing it from the inside, and they know if you do that, you got to give it everything you got. It's full throttle, wide open on these 450cc machines. Kennard protecting the inside lines, making Roxon, as you oh. say, go the long way around. A little mistake from both. Roxon recovers, still has a shot at it. No, that wasn't a mistake from Kenny. He did that deliberately. He got out of that okay. rut. That was, that's why I was saying with this guy, he's very intelligent and he knows how to do it. And he is pushing it. He's going to try it again. Canard to the inside. Another attack. Is Roxon going to go inside? No, he will try the outside. Will he beat him to the exit of the corner? It's, it's a drag race. wheel. Roxon able to make it happen. Canard oh, sets up on the inside. He got it done then. Wheel to wheel racing. Ken Roxon out in the front doing what he did in that first moto. He wants to come out and win Red Bull because we talked about this is one of the most prestigious races of the whole entire outdoor season. And Kellen, oh wow, look at that corner speed by Trey Kennard. He does not give up. We saw him retaliate earlier. He goes for it. He's got him on the inside. They're Roxon gonna negotiate bubbles. together. He's got oh. the inside for the turn. Kennard has the inside, but Roxon has the outside and probably the better line over Robert, look at this. They go side by side. A drag race through the sand rollers. The fans of Red Bud love it. And somehow Roxon is able to hold off this furious charge from Kennard. Woo! 20-year-old German. Love. Boy, they say he rides like a veteran, even though he's so young. And that's what Roxon has done. He stayed cool. Kennard, the kid out of Oklahoma, giving us one heck of a race to watch. Uh oh, Kennard not able to get the big leap. That hurt him. See him grabbing a tear up. I don't think you could really see. I saw him get a face full of roost there from Roxon, and we've talked about that. Vision is so critical on this track, and now look, Eli Tomac saying, I want to be a part of the action.